Happy New Year. Um, I've just been going through a blog post and I thought I'd just um, try it and tell people about how I tell stories. I'm always telling people I'm a documentary storyteller and sometimes I get like hired to come along and photograph these stories for people. Um, sometimes the the subject matter doesn't sound very interesting so it's a bit of a challenge to actually make it more more interesting really. So it's just me flicking through a few pictures from a shoot. I had to photograph some concrete and concrete don't sound very in in interesting at all does it? So I had to then try and create a story around this. So this is a, um, a shoot for a they make precast concrete and I know because I've done lots of work for them in the past I know kind of their brief and what they're looking for and they want to show how the product is installed and what the product is about so here's a few pictures so I start the day I it, this was an uh, equestrian center they're building this indoor arena it's just amazing um, so I got there nice and early and here's the truck arriving and so what usually happens is as soon as I get my camera out there's always someone that wants to pause um, I don't really like posy pictures doing things like this but sometimes it's kind of it's a ticker box exercise if you've done it once then they get bored and then you've kind of um, you've got them where you can actually use them in a documentary fashion they've had the picture taken so you just sometimes have to do these things just to please people um, this here is kind of the start of the project what I was doing this like a couple of hours shoot that I was there um, so it's it's early morning it's trying to work out what needs to be done so this is the product that they installed the day before and then underneath you can kind of see this airbag um, when you're working for like building companies health and safety is a massive thing so they always want you to illustrate this so this is the kind of before um, this is one of the chaps just giving it a little bit of a clean with a blower trying to kind of make it so it's sort of photographic photography ready um, this here I this is the truck and I just saw some of the products on the sh on the on the truck and I kind of liked them I liked the stairs and I liked the light coming on it so again it's just kind of telling the story that the product is delivered on a truck and again this is early morning so this is before the any kind of safety bags went out then when i'm trying to kind of capture a story i want to get i want to get in close i want to get in wide and like when when i show like a wide angle like this this is kind of a perfect illustration to what is happening and where is it going so you can see this is kind of an indoor equestrian center that's being built and on the right hand side the kind of the concrete is there for staging and the it, it's just kind of just showing exactly what's happening you've got a crane in the middle unloading a truck um, the guys are there preparing kind of the inflatable um, whatever you call it um, the inflatable bag that goes around the truck for health and safety and again it's just it's just telling the story of what is going to happen sometimes it's just a matter of walking back and just taking that picture then this this is um as soon as kind of got got started i started doing some documentary pi pictures i don't really want people looking at me so it's kind of this is just a shot i just threw in there just to illustrate this but this is something i would never use um, it's much more interesting when there's people involved and he's just kind of just preparing the product the the um the concrete comes with some holes in where it's lifted you'll see that later and uh, yeah he's just kind of just doing what he needs to do to prepare it um, but I prefer this image where I'm actually capturing him and he's not looking whereas when he's looking at me it just looks staged there's a chap he's just walking along with his plan in his hand thinking about what's going to happen so then I saw the plan so I zoomed in close and I wanted to capture kind of a little bit of detail because detail is always great for this sort of stuff is the bag being blown up once again it's health and safety it's just preparation and this one again is the bag blown up but 
I got some branding on the back of him, which is always kind of important. And I've still got the chap on the right hand side. Um, he's still got his plan. So again, it's it's a great capturing. It's a st storytelling image, really. Um, this one I just kind of liked. It, it's a weird kind of image, really. There's the bag and the truck and the product on the truck. And it, it just, it kind of spoke to me. So that's why I've included it. Um, here's another kind of the wide angle shot where I went back, but this is when the bag's inflated now and everything's ready to rock. So, um, once again, health and safety, these are the inflatable bags that I showed deflated earlier. And it, once again, it just shows that they are using these, um, which is highly important. This one, I just saw the, the light on the stairs and I saw the stairs kind of just on their own. And these are stairs that needed to be installed anywhere. So I just kind of liked that shot. Um, here's a closer up picture of someone preparing the concrete, just filling the holes in. Um, this is the chap who kind of goes on the truck and the product, it has these holes installed. So you can just put these brackets in and then you can kind of clip the, um, the chains on from the, from the crane and then the crane can just lift. So again, it's just kind of illustrating this. Um, I'm always thinking about what the client is after and the story that the client wants to show and they want to show that the precast comes with these kind of holes to make it a lot easier. Um, here's some stairs that were installed the day before I got there. Um, here's some more filling in. And again, it's just a little detail shot, a little action shot, um, a little bit of motion in there just to add some a bit different really um, this is the start of um, this is the first lift going on so they're preparing the chains and they're going to just attach them to the straps and that's a more detailed shot showing that without people again it's when I'm doing something like this sometimes it can be quite mundane and boring but I'm always trying to bring composition into it and thinking how can I make this shot good um, is there any kind of things that I can eliminate in the frame to make it a lot clearer um, or is it just going to be chairs on a hook this one here is again I kind of went back and I liked the light on the chap and the chaps there supporting the product whilst the crane's lifting it up again um, and when I'm there what this this was just the, the first one but when I'm there for like a few hours this goes on and on and on so I've got lots of different ways to capture this and you know I've, I've got lots of chances if I mess it up um, this is the product kind of coming in and these are the people that are going to install it once again um, nice branded logo for uh, the company because again that's important it just shows it's not a stock image and they've gone out and hired a photographer um, again just kind of similar to the last one really I kind of like the bloke who's got no face it's just some legs um, but that's just my sense of humor it's again like what I have to think about when I'm on a job is the these pictures are for the company and it's not, not there for me to uh, play around so much although I do play around because it's always funny um, the the chap at the far side he's instructing the crane so he just uses hand movements uh, kind of with his thumb and the crane, the crane drivers are so skilled I'm always so fascinated and again they're just bringing this product in and it's a perfect illustration to show how the product is used and how quick it is to install which is perfect for kind of selling the product um, this time we had some people on looking I think it was like the owner um, I found out later but I kind of liked the graphic with the crane coming in and the people standing there and then the other people just installing um, this time I kind of liked the um, the composition where it was straight on it just kind of looked interesting and we've got like leading line of the crane just leaving out leading over and I like the chains as well the chains are kind of symmetrical so again just a graphical shot again I'm trying to create interesting compositions but remembering it's for a company and it's not a GCSE art piece um, so this time I wanted to show more of the crane 
So I've got the chap. Um, crane drivers always fascinate me. They're just sitting in these big, massive, comfy seats and just grab out of these handles and they just sit there for hours. But yeah, it's, it's, it's fascinating watching them. Um, yep, yeah, so they're lifting another product kind of into position. People kind of guide it in. Um, sometimes it's a bit dodgy kind of standing on walls, but they're very they're very good at what they're doing once again the guy on the left he's leading the crane in and it's just small movements like really is small minuscule moments that the crane just kind of moves to um just to help them position it um and kind of i liked this one this one just seemed to be a really nice composition i kind of liked the flat angle that i took it once again you've got the kind of the crane leading in which looks quite dy dynamic but then you've got the, the chap leaning in and then you've got the other chap kind of giving instructions and it's it, again it's showing the product it's showing how it's used this is obviously like staging for some stairs um and yeah so even though it is concrete it's still fascinating and there's always ways to kind of tell a story um again i just moved angles for this one i managed to go upstairs and just wanted to uh, show the whole process so this this product is just coming in they're just about to kind of install it to make it flush um and they usually do it pretty quickly actually um back to the chap on the crane so he's attached the chains then this this chap here he's waiting for the um the the concrete to be coming in and i kind of liked the, the i liked his jacket and how central it was so i just thought right i'm having that um again it, it does get kind of repetitive so i'm always looking at different ways to make it look a bit more interesting or an angle that i've not got so i'm always moving around um I kind of get close sometimes so um, this is fairly close to my camera this it could be a little bit closer I do sometimes get closer but again it's just shot from above it's trying to make everything look more interesting um, this is more of a kind of a, a shot of the person so I always say people buy from people and it's, it's really important to show the people you know show who it is who's installing it and the people behind the product um, and these are great chaps i've worked with these a few times and they have a right laugh um, here's kind of a more detailed shot of the the uh, the straps and the holes that are actually installed in the product so they just kind of they just screw these things on put the chain on and then the crane lifts it up perfect and that's the sort of things that will help sell the product um, again a little bit closer it's not the most exciting picture i've ever taken in my life but it's necessary <clears throat> um, i wanted to show like the spirit level and, and again this isn't paused this is just literally there's they just chucked the spirit level on i saw it was perfect so i was like right i'm having that <clears throat> this one went for a walk um compositionally you one of the rules is try and get frames in your pictures. I kind of thought, well, let's try it. I don't think it's um, brilliant, but it's always worth a try, especially when you've already got the stuff that you need. So at this point, it's kind of, why do the same thing? Why don't you like kind of wander around and see what else you can do? Um, this, the foreman guy, it says, make sure you get these spaces in between the products just to show. So this is something I would have actually missed. I, I would never have shot this, but asking the person who is installing it, it's like, right, this is the stuff that we really need. So no, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm capturing that. And then a little bit detail, a bit, a bit more detailed as well, a bit closer, just to show that because it's obviously important for them. Um, so it's important for me then. This is just kind of a profile shot of the stairs, um, like, Again, it's not the most exciting picture for me to look at, but for them, if it helps them sell this product, then, you know, that's exactly what they're looking for. Um, once again, back to people. This is the chap who's kind of in, like putting the hook in on the concrete on the truck. 
Um, I think it's a different chap actually this time, so just went for a different angle, makes them a bit more interesting. Um, some closer up stuff of the kind of the cables and the hooks. Again, it's all to tell that story. You know, you show people this from far away and they want to go, oh, what, what actually happens? But if you take it in closer as well, then you've got the whole thing. Um, again, a bit closer up this time, just to show the chains and the product in, in motion. But I've also kind of got blurred out the logo in the background on the highways. Um, again, adding people in helps to sell that story. Um, and then more installation, again, it's just all helps sell the product. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I wanted to show that the lines were flush. And again, if I can try and show the client as well, their logo, then it once again takes it away from this is a stock image. This is actually being prepared for them. It's, it's a bespoke image. Um, this is a, the next truck that's waiting. Um, I just saw it out of the window. So I thought I'd just grab a shot of that because it's always interesting to see kind of before and afters. This is a staircase that they just wanted to kind of install. And it was interesting to have some stairs instead of like the seating. So again, once I saw something different, I thought it was important. I also wanted to capture a nice picture with the people as well so it's not just a piece it's not just some stairs um this is the installation of the stairs and once again this is fascinating it's like for me it's mind-blowing it's like here's one piece of concrete that just makes some stairs which is amazing there's the stairs finished done um obviously there's some preparation afterwards but that is pretty much a staircase just installed and literally two three minutes um, and then finally before I went they just brushed off the, um, the the stairs and they just got me to take a few pictures of this and again this shows the the after the, the I think they, they do apply some kind of screed afterwards but because I was on the day for a certain length of time that was going to be another day so it's kind of we do what we can but that is a perfect illustration of like how the product will be it's a little bit rough but i think it should be a little bit rough it shouldn't be really shiny especially if it's just been installed so yeah that's kind of what i do just yeah that's that's telling story and that's what i do that's that's what being a documentary storyteller in a commercial environment is about so hopefully this has been informative if you want to watch it you can if you were to <laughs> but yeah it's uh, it, it's, it's my day to day job so give me a shout if you're after any kind of documentary photography it doesn't have to be concrete it can be people um, it can be anything really so there's always ways to tell a story so that is it so I'll, I'll uh, sign off now have fun bye